hey guys welcome back so this is the current length of my model's hair but we're going to make it look longer by adding some micro links extension that blends so perfectly with her natural hair we're gonna be using micro links from ywigs.com today and this is what it looks like in the packaging they give you a wig cap which we're not going to need today <laughs> uh, we have three bundles of their micro links here and this is what it looks like when you open it up it is the same color of my model's hair and very close to her 4c hair texture so I have 18 inches in color 1b so if you're not familiar with micro links they are basically an alternative to sew-ins they are super safe and easy to install especially with this Y wigs micro links they come with the loop already attached to the beads so you don't have to buy an extra tool to pass the beads through and this is what the loop looks like so the loop is going to make it easy for us to install this micro links here So I'm doing this style very versatile for her. So if she wants to wear half of half down, she can wear that. If she also wants the middle part, she could wear that as well. If she wants to put the hair in a ponytail, she can do that as well. So I'm leaving hair around the top for the half of half down. And also I'm gonna leave hair for the middle part and I'm gonna leave hair all around the perimeter for when she wants to put it in a ponytail. So the micro links hair is basically going to mimic her natural hair and the goal is to wear the micro links like you're wearing your own natural hair okay <laughs> so i want her to be able to style the hair in different ways and that's why i'm leaving all these hair so that it could look nice and natural All right, now that we've pre-sectioned the leave out, let's do the first row of the micro links installation. And so I'm just going to install the micro links in this row and kind of doing it like in a smile direction. So that way if she put it up in a ponytail, it's going to be nice and flat. So this is how to install it basically. Um, you see the micro links, you see the loop, and then you're just gonna make a part, like you want to make small sections, okay? I'm going to explain why so make a small section like this and then I'm going to pass her natural hair through the loop of the micro links here and then I'm going to drag the loop like this just pull and just pass the natural hair through the bead like this okay I'll show you guys again and then you're going to push it up not too close to the scalp leave a little bit of distance okay like leave a distance this much okay the reason is because you don't want it to be too tight so you're gonna take a plier and this is the plier that you use to press the bead together to you know secure the hair so it doesn't come undone just press it gently it looks like I'm being rough but trust me I'm not um, just the way the angle of the camera and my hand uh, but yeah just press it down and you should be able to move the hair left up side okay so let me show you guys again
So once you're done with the first row, you should be able to raise it up and move it to the side like this, okay? So just make sure you don't do it too close to the scalp and also make sure you do your part in a smile direction so that way if you want to put it up it's going to be easy for you so i'm going to do basically do like two rows of the micro links installation and then skip one row and just leave her natural hair out and then do another two row and then skip her hair again Okay, so this is why what I mean by you make sure the section of the hair is small so it can pass through the bead. Right now I'm struggling because that part is too big. So just I'm going to take some hair out, okay, and make the part smaller so it could easily just pass through the bead. So yeah, the beads are really tiny so you, the parts have to be small enough to pass through. Alright, so we're almost done. As you can tell, I did like two rows and then had a leave out in between. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but um, right here at the top, this is two rows, but I'm going to do one more row at the very top because I want the top to be nice and full. So I'm just spraying some oil on her scalp as I go, just to make sure her scalp is nice and fed. And yeah, so this is the leave out part. I didn't show the last row of the micro links of me doing it, but I know you guys get the point now. But when you comb the hair, it just blends with her natural hair perfectly. I haven't even blown out the hair yet, but just combing the hair just blends perfectly with her natural hair. Alright, so for the top, I'm just going to add the micro links in this section. So I'm just going to add about three rows of the micro links here. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side.
so she got her middle part and she could also put it all up in a ponytail like this and it looks just like her natural hair so I really like the kinky straight texture on her 4C hair I also tried their other textures as well which I'm gonna show you in just a second so this is their um, kinky curly texture which I also tried on a different model and this is their 18 16 14 inch kinky curly hair so this is actually the first one that I tried I co-washed it and then I also blew it out like this um, because I wanted to to use it on another model that has 4C hair as well. So this was me installing it on the other model and this was what it looks like comparing the, the texture with her natural hair. And then I ended up blowing it out even more and this is what it looks like when I blew it out even more. So it was really good and this is what it looked like when I put it in a ponytail and yeah both textures are great for the micro links if you have 4C or type 3 hair. So let me show you how to take it down. So to take it down you're going to need a different plier okay. So this plier is different from the one we use in installing it okay. So this is the one we used in pressing it, pressing the beads down. As you can see the shape is curved but the one on the left is what we're going to use to reverse what we did. As you can see the beads look flat okay because we press it down. So we raise it up like this and you're just going to take the plier and just press it down a little bit until it becomes round okay once you see that it's round then it's open you just slide it out very simple I'm gonna show you again 